Good morning, everyone. This is Tim from the Word of Life Church. Uh, wanted to come on and get in some news articles. Uh, say happy Friday to each and every one of you out there. <laughs> Not really. It's Saturday. <laughs> Just said that because I went to bed last night and actually woke up this morning uh, with the absolute thought that it was Friday. Uh, don't ask me why, uh, but I, I booted up the computer earlier and <laughs> it said Saturday and I was like, then I had to look at my phone and it said it was Saturday and I, okay, well then I've, I've, I've got missing time apparently. Uh, but at any rate, here we are. Uh, excuse me, one of my cats is trying to get the picture again. You'd think I'd learn to start closing the door, but uh, you know. At any rate, uh, hope everyone's having a good Saturday so far. Uh, it's beautiful out where we are. A little, still a bit on the uh, chilly side, a little cold, but uh, uh, sunny and blue skies, and uh, it's just a beautiful day that the Lord's given us. So, you know, let's all be rejoiced and be glad in it. And uh, try to keep from being owned by our pets here. Uh, <laughs> at any rate, let's, uh, let's get into some news here. Uh, some earlier. Excuse me for just one second, you know. With, uh, with all the junk on these web pages, all the ads and stuff, and how slow, you know, it. Oh boy. At uh, any rate, uh, we'll start with this right here. This, well, of course, first on the list there. 300 scientists want the NOAA, which is the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Uh, says to stop hiding its global warming data in our opinion. NOAA has failed to observe the OMB which is the Office of Management and Budget and its own guidelines established in relation to the Data Quality Act. Uh, oh my goodness. Stupid pop-up. <laughs> uh, Hundreds of scientists sent a letter to the lawmakers Thursday warning the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Scientists may have violated federal laws when they published a 20, or, excuse me, 2015 study preparing to eliminate the 15-year hiatus in global warming from the temperature record. Um, you know, of course, there's two sides of that argument. said that Global warming's man-made. No, there's just you know it's it's just it's just happening uh, due to the uh, well you know the us being in the end times. You know the Earth it is it's groaning and travailing. The Bible tells us you know even back in the day that it was they were talking about it was, and uh, you know we're starting you know ever since we've started being able to uh, uh, well predict and measure uh, the weather earthquakes uh, you know seismic activity, uh, uh, volcanic activity, uh, the sinkholes like crazy. Uh, there for a while it was like every other day there was a new sinkhole in the news. This one I, I, I did yesterday, I believe Oregon or something like that, huge. I mean, just, just, just open up. The earth stretching, you know, stretching and ripping apart in certain areas. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we brought the curse upon the, this planet. You know, uh, but due to the, our, our sins. But at any rate, uh, that's pretty much the basis of that story. Zika outbreak. Everyone knows about this. I talked about this, and I, probably everyone's already heard about it. Uh, what it is, what it does, what it is. Uh, Zika outbreak epicenter, the same area where genetically modified mosquitoes were released in 2015. So, while this is loading here, coffee. And if I don't spill it on my leg and burn myself, we'll be uh, we'll be doing good. I already did that. Uh, the WHO, which is the World Health Organization. Uh, announced it will convene an emergency committee under the international health regulations on Monday, February the 1st. 
concerning the Zika virus explosive, their words, spread throughout the Americas. Start down in Brazil, South America, and it's moving its way up. We've already had maybe even more at this point, more outbreaks here in the U.S. My last count that I got, and I need to keep looking to see if I can spot it, there was about six or seven, maybe maybe five or six, six or seven, something around that. Uh, but at any rate, I'll use two pop-ups. Getting bit gold, Bitcoin, that sound familiar? Getting bit gold pop-ups, imagine that. Uh, the virus reportedly has the potential to reach pandemic proportions. Pestilence is God's word coming to pass. Come on, people. It's come. It's here. It's it's and it's just it's just going to continue to to snow. It's a snowball effect uh, to reach pandemic proportions, possibly around the globe. But understanding why this outbreak happened is vital to curbing it. As the World Health Organization statement said, and this is their quote, a casual relationship between Zika virus infection and birth malformations and neurological syndromes is strongly suspected. Uh, these links have rapidly changed the risk profile of Zika from a mild threat to one of, in their words, alarming proportions. Uh, the WHO is deeply concerned about this rapidly evolving situation for four main reasons. The possible association of infection with birth malformations. Now we know that this virus causes either uh, abortions, uh, not abortions, uh, well, aborted babies due to the virus. Uh, and also if the uh, if the woman reaches full term and has the child uh, it will end up being uh, having several different kind of birth defects. One of the major one they said was the, the head and the brain were too small. Had not developed properly. Very sad. Very sad. Uh, but it's it, people. This is what we got to deal with. This is what what's going on. Uh, the potential for further international spread, given the wide geographical distribution of the mosquito vector, the lack of population immunity in in newly affected areas, and the absence of vaccines, specific treatments, and rapid diagnostic tests, the level of concern as high as is the level of uncertainty, end quote. And that was from the World Health Organization. Um, and it said that, uh, that Zika seemingly exploded out of nowhere. That's sort of true, even though it, this was first discovered in the 1947. Uh, and it says that only a few of, the, of those infections were uh, happened. Uh, kind of sporadic uh, throughout uh, Africa and Asia uh, and uh, Southern Asia and let me, let me get back in the this is 2007 the first case was reported in the Pacific 2013 is smattering of small outbreaks and individual cases were officially documented in Africa and the Western Pacific they also began showing up in the Americas in May of 2015 Brazil reported its first case of the Zika virus and the situation changed dramatically. Uh, they are now considering uh, Brazil to be the epicenter of the Zika outbreak which coincides with at least 4,000 reports of babies born with microencephaly just since October which means the head and the brain are too small and haven't fully developed. Uh, that's what that disease is, microencephaly. Uh, I'm not going to go any further than that. That's just kind of, you know, uh, but it is spreading. It's coming up, you know, and uh, well, you know, if uh, the elite would uh, release it, we'd have an actual cure for it. We'd have an actual cure for about anything before they release anything. And this was originally released when they, I didn't get to that part about it, but I mentioned it through a mosquito outbreak. They were trying to, to control something else. But along with that, they've created this. 
or a, mu or a mutated version of what the virus did. Uh, no surprise, you know, it's uh, say, well, why, why, why is something like that just affecting the children? Obvious, isn't obvious what it is, what they're what they're achieving by doing this. One method, a very a very light method, and I, I say that kind of in jest, you know, because of all the 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 babies born and the babies that have died and didn't reach full term because of it, uh, of the depopulation controls. Okay, think I'm crazy if you want to, but it's 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 attacking the babies. Grown up adult can it can serve it just fine, you know. What's what's it attacking? It's attacking the children. At any rate, uh, you know, do your own research. Look it up, you know. Uh, check check it out. Anything we talk about, do your own research and get in there, and you're going to see a lot of stuff. But then again, some people don't want to research this stuff and get into it and look at it because to them it's 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 sad and something like this is very sad. It's it's, it's heartbreaking. Uh, but people, we, we don't we we can't be afraid to to can to confront this stuff head on. Got to remember, it's a spiritual war that we're fighting. Now we see results in the physical, uh, but also believe the things in the spiritual. We'll see results and uh, something similar happen in the natural and I'll, honestly and I've said it so much and it, we've seen it a lot a lot of the things of the spiritual nature are intruding over into this natural our reality and we're seeing the, the effects of it we're seeing manifestations of things uh, just weird stuff unexplained stuff that's going on uh, people it's just uh, hold on <laughs> I said you know that roller coaster you get when you're getting closer to the top you're seeing the top the crest come up and you just start holding on because you know you're getting ready to just head down the other side am I getting joy out of saying that that we're gonna to have to go through this stuff no and I say the Lord's gonna come get us before a lot of this really heavy bad stuff is gonna hit us no I can't say that nobody else can People's thinking that this stuff that's hitting us is God's wrath upon the earth. No, it's just we're just in the birth pains. It said, but the end is not yet. There's still some more stuff to come. And some more stuff that we, as Christians, as people of God, are going to have to endure and work our way through. Whenever the Lord is ready to come get us to call his church out, then he will. But don't confuse the wrath of God with the wrath of the, with the wrath of the Antichrist upon this world, upon the people of God. And a lot of people are doing that. So anyway, let's move on here. Uh, <laughs> uh, new, okay, this I don't know if I've heard of this. Well, there was a preview of a movie, but this is not it. Uh, if they can't stop Christians from believing, they can at least pollute their minds and spirits. Yeah, absolutely. New TV Bible series to include explicit sex drench nudity. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's uh, tell you what. Let's check that out. Okay, apparently this is called TV series of Kings and Prophets. Okay. You scroll down just a little bit here. Uh, this is the first I've heard of this, so you guys, it's, it's fresh news to me as is to you. Uh, unless, I don't know, maybe you guys have heard of it or seen previews of it. This is of Kings and Prophets, a new series set to air on ABC, and, and I'm sure to be on ABC Family. Uh, and their tagline is a new kind of family. Yeah, it's a new kind of family, all right. Uh, airing ABC in March is a Hollywood rendition of stories of Samuel, Saul, and David from first and second Samuel in the Bible. The show's trailer recently previews at previewed at the Television Critics Association Winter Press Tour. During the panel with the show's producers and execs, immediately following questions were asked regarding the apparent level of sexual and violent content in the trailer and what that means for the series. Multiple critics who saw the pilot were surprised by the amount of nudity included. Uh, 
and if somebody and if Hollywood execs are surprised at it, then you can imagine how uh, one of us. Granted, to say this is going to this is going to be a series that I will not have anything to do with, or watch, or preview, or everything. If it's going to have all that stuff in there, look, I know stuff happens in real life, but you know, if if you, uh, this just this just as I said, the way to pollute people's thinking and uh, it's Hollywood. It's just Hollywood. Uh, executive producer Chris Bronc Broncato said that the series isn't going to shy away from mature content. Uh, we're going to go as far as we can, Broncato said. The story is an Old Testament, one that's violent and sex drenched. It's one of the world's first soap operas. Oh my goodness. You will watch a show that is tasteful, but that also tells a story you can read if you want to pick up the Bible. Movie Guide notes that there's a huge difference between a textual description of events and an actual depiction of acts, such as the new series displays. It says you can read more. Go If you want to read more about this, go to uh, skywatchtv.com. Very good site. It's one of the sites that I follow. Uh, and uh, teachers and uh, people on there that I, I listen to and get information from and some I've even corresponded with at some point. Uh, excuse me. But if you want me to read more about that, and I'm sure they're going to have, it's if it has anything with the Bible and they're going to bring it down to that level, the Hollywood level, it's going to be, it'll be announced in the shows like with Yahoo and you look on the mainstream news and, you know, I'm sure Fox News is going to be all over this and, uh, you know, this is just, that's Hollywood, you know. Now, granted, look, I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not a prude, you know, <laughs> what I'm saying. I know stuff like this happened and it's, it was real life back then just as it was real life today. But, uh something like that you know just doing it for the sake of doing it what's the point there's you know this is something that i would want my if i had if i had kids uh that i want them to be able to watch now if they do this if they take it to the uber as much as they said everyone pushed the envelope as far as they could why well, couldn't and get my young child watch it you know it's, it's going to be adult be an adult theme like that I, you know look there's there's plenty of good gospel movies out there that you can uh, watch and have your children watch instead of going down to Hollywood's level of it now as I said I know life was real and happened back then just as it does as life in, my, in the Bible mentions stuff like this and a lot some of the Bible is what you would consider more appro adult appropriate uh, uh, but it, uh, you know, just for the sake of doing it, they're just hot, just want to push it on. Just like the, just like the movies that's been out recently, like, like Noah, the guy that did that was an atheist. He said it was going to be the most unbiblical Bible movie that there's ever been. He, <laughs> boy, did he get that right? Uh, there was a man named Noah. There was a boat, and there was a, and there was a bunch of water. <laughs> they at least got that right. Uh, Hard to kind of mess that up. Um, so at any rate, oh boy, uh, ape to human, pig to human, blood donations. Could xenotransfusions work? Hmm, interesting. Could the blood of another or an animal of some sort work, or vice versa? Uh, and it asked. Uh, this is from. This is right here. This is from the Genetic Literacy uh, Project. Tagline after it says "Science Trumps Ideology." Uh, okay, uh, and uh, and this is what they're talking about. Said, so, would you accept a transfusion of blood products from a chimpanzee or gorilla, or what about a pig? <laughs> One person. I, I could I could think of so many things I could say that go along with that, but I, I I'm sorry I'm not gonna do it. One person did back in 1667 when French physician 
Jean Baptiste Denis, Denis, whatever you, how you pronounce that last name, successfully transfused blood from a lamb into a 15 year old human boy. This may surprise many people as most are aware that even humans are not universally transfusion compatible. Uh, instead, humans are divided into blood groups that determine who can receive blood from whom without suffering a severe immune reaction that can be fatal. You know, A, B, A, B positive, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, if this is an actual story, or, or this actually was documented and it was the truth, and this happened, I suspect this is one marker in history of some of the stuff that's coming later on you know you know people want just to bring us down to the level of the animals anyway uh, starting out with just the, the simple darwinian evolution junk uh, yeah uh so this oh this this will go a long way with people that have that idea i, I think this was a marker in history of possibly on the demonic side, a supernatural intervention that caused this to, to happen and caused it to supposedly work, if it indeed actually worked. Uh, because we're seeing stuff like this go on. We're seeing a human animal chimeras just three or four years ago. Uh, I believe there were 150 of them that were grown and, uh, or, you know, experiment with and around uh, in the, the United Kingdom. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, at one point, according to bioethic laws and, you know, according to the way uh, that you're supposed to, when it gets to a certain point, you are to terminate that. Uh, whatever you've done, the, the experiment that you perform. Well, I don't believe that's happened. Uh, I believe that that they have went further than we will ever, and I think they a lot years ahead of stuff, and that's just the stuff that we get for public consumption. That that, that type of news or this type of news. See how they slide stuff in? And that there are, uh, boy, there's a lot I could go into this, talking about this. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't believe that's all that they have done, and I don't believe that, you know, the countries that do this stuff, including us, our scientists, uh, put a stop to it and follow uh, the eth ethic laws, or ethic, uh, you know, controls put forth, uh, just because they don't. They want to push the envelope, push the science, push all of it as far as they can. And they're entering into realms that, uh, that we haven't seen since prior to the flood going on stuff that was going on in the world at that time stuff that a lot of people are not typically aware of unless you really get in studying the Lord shows you some stuff and leads you to some other avenues and st areas of study you don't have anything about it uh, but what's you know there's nothing new under the sun you know what's what has been will be again so at any rate that's uh that that's an area that I could dive really in and go into a lot uh, but for the sake of time well, I'm sorry I'm just trying to enjoy some coffee this morning <clears throat> keep my throat clear for talking and stuff uh, Jewish Kabbalists you know the Kabbalah it's kind of a mystical Jewish type religion that some people I think even Madonna is was big into it or is big into it and there's other people uh, Jewish Kabbalist preparing for and this is this is one area of another area of study a very good book written on it by the way as well uh, for alternative space religion uh, from the soon coming exo Vaticana aliens now this exo Vaticana uh, aliens is talking about there's a book by a man named uh, Tom Horn Thomas Horn and Chris Putnam and I'm gonna try to wrap this up in a quick just a quick definition as possible people within the Catholic Church and many other of course religions believes you know uh, that we have okay we'll, we'll just for the sake because because of 
that book was written and they dealt with the Catholic Church on this. We use them as an example. Uh, they believe that uh, somewhere in creation God has made other beings uh, if you want to call them aliens that's fine and that they are that they've even given statements Catholic Church and their astronomers and everything have made statements to this effect they believe races out there that never fell from grace and that they're they are coming here and they won't want they even they, 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 I'm serious this in article said well, are you uh, would you baptize an alien so it would be a fellow creation that the Lord made I'm not just I'm serious as a heart attack do some research on this either you go you'll either really get into it and see what's going on and find out the coming great deception or you're just you'll you end up saying okay this is just too much and you won't go into it any further I urge you study study to show yourself to prove that's including God's word that's including other things related to God's word I believe for us to be prepared for things but anyway they believe that there are being uh, beings out there whatever maybe something like humans something you know that never fell from grace that never knew the sin that didn't give in to sin that are going to come and, and actually lead us into a new way and uh, you know that they never that they never needed the Lord they never needed salvation I, I kid you not they visited these two gentlemen. They wrote two or three books, or well, a couple of books together now, maybe another one that's on its way out, and each have written their own books uh, related to this and other, and other things as well. Uh, they actually went to the huge uh, Catholic uh, telescope and astronomy center that's in Mount Graham in uh, Arizona. And uh, they have a large, uh, 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 it's the largest in the world, uh, infrared binocular telescope. Uh, that they, and they've got, of course, you know, they're wanted up, you know, checking out, doing astronomy, looking at stuff and researching. So whatever they're looking for using that apparently can only be seen in the infrared. Now, there was a, a priest or Monsignor, what, I don't know exactly what exactly this title was. Uh, apparently he was kind of pretty pretty much high up. Now, a lot of the people these days and the, and these the people that are for this, the, the, the Catholic people, that uh, astronomers and everything. At any rate, this, uh, uh, this guy, and his name was Malachi Martin. I know a lot of people are going to, especially Catholics, are going to say, oh, he was just a nutcase. And everything. But there's other independent resources that will verify this. At one point, he was interviewed by a person, and the guy came around and asked him, said, why is the Catholic Church and the Catholic Astronomy Group so interested on doing research and watching the sky and peering out into space and, you know, why, you know, that, you know why, why they built this center and why, they did, why do they have this large binocular infrared telescope that's the biggest in the world and you wouldn't believe what they had to go through because that was Indian territory sacred Indian territory and it was federal land so they had to go to court over to get it up there but it got pushed through yeah it got pushed through uh, and even people would be questioned politicians would be questioned about it and they'd get mad and stomp and uh, uh, wouldn't talk about it but at any rate uh, this 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 uh, priest that was interviewed, he's dead now. Uh, a lot of people believe that he did not just die of natural causes. Uh, you know, we'll go into that. Uh, but anyway, he 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 just kind of he kind of the guy asked him all these and said why is so interested in space said because within the next ten to fifteen years, uh, there's going to be something uh, that they're watching that's approaching earth that's going to be of great importance in the next 10 to 15 years now we're about to the 16 17 year mark and we're seeing some stuff going on we're seeing another planetoid they say enter the solar system and who knows what else they're watching and i'm not saying it's aliens okay but bear in mind there is a great deception coming and this is going to be part of that great deception 
mark it down. And this comes from a person that was pretty high up and knew kind of what was going on. Said that they are watching something and it's and something that's heading our way. Don't know what it is. A lot of people are saying it's this new this planet nine that they've discovered. Uh, people and I've talked about this before, this planet X or Nibiru. People have heard that and talked about that. People are saying that this is that's this planet. Other people are saying no, this is not the same thing. So we'll see. We'll see where this goes. I know that was a long string, but I, I, something like this, you, I can't just read that title and expect people to be like, "What?" I had to kind of explain the background to what goes into that. So uh, a lot of people are going to believe it. A lot of people won't believe it. Uh, people think that something that's something that's kind of taboo to talk about. Uh, I don't believe it because I, 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 there's a lot of stuff that I, I, I research and everything, a lot of stuff that I don't talk about, but I watch and keep an eye on. And at some point, I have to report on something that's going to sound so totally wild and out of, and out of and no pun intended, out of this world. Something weird and unexplained that a lot of people won't believe it. I can't help that. I'm, I've got to report what I feel led to report and what I feel led to watch and look into. So. Let's let that rest from now. Uh, system is broken. Americans no longer believe in its institutions. Uh, that's a pretty self-explanatory uh, uh, news title right there. Uh, I agree. People, you know, are, are so sick. Are sick of Washington. Sick of the war between the Democrats and the Republicans and. You know, people, all they're after is just money and power and control. We're the ones caught in the middle. The little people like us on the bottom are caught in the middle. Now, the elite up the top that are actually above these people, you know, and, you know, here's our president. Here's the elite. Can you can you, can you see? Can this angle up? Can you see? That are so far above that, that control and tell him what to do. Believe it or not, it's fine. You do your own research. Uh... Yeah, well, we have no, you know, the American people have very little faith left. And uh, I've never seen such an attitude here lately, really and truly, of, uh, you know, uh, live, drink, party, for tomorrow we die. That's a lot of the attitude of people that's going around. Unfortunately, it's a lot of the attitude of the church, just to be honest. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, I didn't, you know, so I didn't say Christians. I said church, church members. Uh, so, but the Christians know what's coming. You know why? Because we've got cutting edge intel. We've got God's word to tell us where this is going and how it's all going in. You know, we win in the end if you if you run the race and stay in the race and make it to the finish line. Run my race, I've finished my course, I have kept the faith. That's what Brother Paul said before uh, the, of course this is historical it will but ended up being uh, beheaded uh, and you know to, while we're on that subject there is a lot of things there's several different things that we've talked about uh, or taught or preached certain phrases certain things that are really not in the Bible uh, one of them uh, unless someone can prove me wrong and if check and I challenge you if you watch this I challenge you uh, you know, and if I, if I, if I've missed it, then you know, hey, I'll repent that I said it. You know, and it, it's nothing bad, but uh, do your own checking on this. But uh, you know, we're always under the assumption, and we've taught this and preached this. Other people have too. Uh, that if everyone remembers back in the Old Testament, when the high priest went into the holy of holies. Uh, what all and we would you know what all he would do and we would say that a rope was tied to his waist or his ankle or something in case he fell over dead wasn't worth him fell over dead well uh, I can I personally can find and if you do a search on it uh, find no reference to any kind of rope being tied to the priest all I found is that he that there was bells that were attached to his clothing and if they stopped jingling 
and it, and, and it didn't start back, they knew that he wasn't worthy. Now, there is, they say, I haven't, I've never read it, but they say that the, some of the Jew, Jewish people talking about it say yes, in, in, the, in the Jewish Talmud, it does record that they had a rope tied to him, that there is a, 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 a reference to that in the Talmud. But it's not to be found in the, in the Bible, in our Bible. But yet we've been teaching and, and talking about preaching that. If you can find it in there, let me know. Just uh, you know, at, 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 you know, just look for it. Look for it. See if you can do it. Do, do, you know, if you got a Bible program, do a search on it and look and look. I, I would have sworn. In fact, this was my the reason that hasn't come to the point. My wife asked me about it and said, well, she says I can't find this. We're talking about. I said I thought, you know, and I was like, well, Lord, forgive me that if I've taught something and said stuff that, that that's not really truly in your word. Uh, I, I said I think it's in. I'm pretty sure it's in Exodus. And but I tried to do is uh, look in there, try to find it, couldn't find. It. Did the Bible search with that and just couldn't find it. So there's your challenge for today. See if you can find that. Uh, what is lurking in Hillary's emails? Oh, here we go again. We just cannot get off of Hillary Clinton and Benghazi and these emails. Now, I know I want the truth to be known. Somebody's doing something wrong. But huh, people, people she, is, she is so protected that nothing is ever going to happen to her. People pushing, pushing. Oh, we've got some. We've got one of them now. No, you don't. You don't. It's nothing going to happen to her. This is what is lurking in Hillary's emails and why the FBI will not indict. The goal is to turn the U.S. into a narco-terrorist state. This comes from uh, Dave Hodges, The Common Sense Show. Well, more pop-ups. Let's see. Oh, we'll find it. Uh, State Department announced Friday that it would finally release 2,000 pages of Clinton's controversial emails, but would suspiciously delay the final group of emails until after the New Hampshire primary. <coughs> Excuse me. And the FBI would let her get away with that? Oh, I almost forgot. The FBI is too busy executing innocent, oh boy, unarmed people in Oregon. Yeah. Instead of dealing with real criminals in the district of criminals. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure that given enough time, they will eventually stop killing the innocent and begin to prosecute habitual criminals such as Hillary Clinton. <laughs> uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, even though I'd like to, I'll, I would love to see it. Finally somebody get, you know, what what they what they deserve uh, as far as man's laws go, they're not going to get away from God's laws in the final. There's no way they're not going to get they, they, no way that they, they won't get around it. Uh, only way they're going to get around it if they, if they if they get their sins under the blood of the Lord Jesus. And that's for forgiveness and turn from it. Uh, you know, they ain't going to be no. There's there's not going to be Democrats and Republicans and. Uh, uh, <laughs> constitutionalists and you know uh, liberals and everything and, and uh, God's kingdom <laughs> you know uh, although you the way you hear some people talk you would you know die hard uh, I'm a die hard Democrat all my life you know, man. <sighs> don't get into that uh, all that stuff all the uh, political stuff uh, it causes arguments causes separations uh, that and of course the old rule of thumb people say that especially in a job you should never bring up politics or religion because it ends up making people mad and, and fights and everything and at times I have seen that to be the case uh, but anyway if you want to uh, read that article about that uh, you know we, we're beat, been beat to death with that but if you want to it's on the uh, Dave Hodges the common sense show uh, let me uh Just one minute here. Come on. Now. Okay, it's the Common Sense Show. 
dot com. Uh, and another, if I talked about last night about, uh, uh, and I, after I laid down and was uh, doing some reading and uh, everything, I, I don't know if I gave the correct uh, web address to this. You could have looked it up, but I uh, was talking about some of the stuff uh, with the the satanic ritual abuse and uh, you know the uh, multiple personalities and the, the mind control programming and stuff. Uh, that uh, Brother Russ Dizdar investigates and it's been involved in, uh, and uh, it's uh, his web address is uh, shatterthedarkness.net. I think I said .com. If you put it in, you could if it didn't work, you could have done it, but it's .net instead of .com. I just wanted to put that in there because I thought I don't know if I said it used the correct uh, or gave the correct web address when I did that. Uh, Family of slain Oregon militia, man. This is going to be in the news for a while. Oh my goodness, there's so many. There's so many. Will this happen? Well, this is what actually happened. No, this is what actually happened. Uh, this is family of slain Oregon militiamen claimed he was shot in the back with his hands up and posed no threat as Monday brothers are denied bail. Uh, now, I'm, I probably by now, if anyone's shown any interest in this uh, and followed this, there was an aerial uh, news footage of what happened, the confrontation. This actually is an article from the Daily Mail dot com, and uh, uh, of course, the man that was killed was uh, Robert Lavoy Finnicum. Believe he, they said he was the spokesman, spokesperson for the uh, militia group. This is a. Uh, the relatives of Finnegan said they were not accepting at face value the FBI statement that the 54-year-old rancher from Arizona had been armed. They say he was armed and he come out in a threatening manner. Now, the video that I saw, I don't know if it's still up, I haven't done a search. Of course, you know, it's just, it was silent, you know, and it was from, they, they cut down all the, they cut all the noise because of the helicopter, you could hurt anything anyway. But, you know, showed apparently an officer walking around, the vehicle stopped, and the guy walking out with his hands up. I don't remember seeing him doing anything like this or, or holding anything, uh, you know, but it was kind of hard to see anyway, but the video was kind of rough. Uh, but now they're saying he was shot in the head. At first, it was reported he was shot in the front, in the face, and he, but at one point, you see, apparently, the policeman, or whoever it was, fire, and the guy just fall, fall back, and well, I think you see, at one point, the guy's arm reaching toward his face, so, that, you say, well, that would lead them to people believe that he was shot frontly in the face, well, not necessarily true, shot in the back of the head, and then the exit, when he came out the face, he would be reaching for that anyway, so, uh, it says the FBI released a video on Thursday that they claim shows Finnegan reaching for his weapon before he was shot dead. Now I'm gonna have to check it. I want to see if that video is still out there or if it's been yanked or not. If it's if that's all it's showing and uh, that that right there is is a piece of evidence that can't be denied. Now they're gonna they're gonna be squeaky clean on this. You know, uh, it, it, all the the burden burden of all the uh, the wrong doing they claim is going to be pl placed on the shoulders of the uh, militia group and uh, it says uh, I'm on Monday apparently the leader and 11 others uh, have been arrested uh, no one's been released on bond though and it, say, it claims that four militia men uh, remain at the reserve that they were occupying and said they have been named and include a married couple uh, So the family of an anti-government protester. I see that right there. You got you just gotten programmed when I said that. So what are you talking about? When I said family of an anti-government, anti-government part registered in your mind. Right there, you've been programmed. Were they explicitly anti-government? Or, or were they a group? You know, and I, I know there's people out there that's. Uh, I, I, I don't know any but I, I just say this is just kind of what you know as far as groups and stuff I'm sure there are a lot of people talking especially now since our borders are wide open and our government's bringing them over we have these ISIS 
and Al Qaeda cells here in the states, and you know, people banding together saying, you know, if a threat happens like that, then you know we're going to take arms against, you know, the these jihadists. Uh, so uh, were these people in, counted like that uh, in that area? But also, were they against? Uh, were, were they actually anti-government? And the federal, they're saying, well, they were occupying federal land. Well, that's something they were built on. They were, was there, did they have a charter or something and say, you know, hey, we're, t we're anti fed, anti government, and if something happens, we're going to do this? Well, people, let me tell you something. And this is something that I've thought about, and me and, you know, my friends have talked about this for uh, years, you know, uh, just. Militia type situations like this, or situations uh, that, that, that something like this happens, and there's what they call you know, a militia group. You know, Even though the Second Amendment mentions a militia, well armed militia, uh, you know, and the, the, the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, you know, uh, you know, can't be taken away from us. God given right to protect ourselves. But the whole problem is, now I'm not saying I agree with the federal government, totally the opposite. I, I disagree with, can we go 90% or you want to go 100% on that? Uh, what they what they actually do. Uh, for, for one thing, we know being the government that they're under control. It's not just them. It's people way, way, way up higher that are in control. We already know that. I already talked about that. You guys should be used to that by now and know know the truth. Uh, but the thing is, is, you know, people doing militia type stuff like that, uh, people get wind of that. People would come in. People would have someone, come in, an agent come in and spy you out. You know, I can't uh, tell you the number of, uh, you know, like, uh, like I've been going to like a gun store or something like that to look around, you know whatever, you know, exercising my right to purchase a firearm, Second Amendment right, you know, to purchase guns and ammo, or just or just go in to look around, you know, just something like that, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, you know, it's no one's business, what I do. Uh, but people come in, and they're just blasting their mouth and running their mouth about stuff that they shouldn't, because, and I fully believe this, that people have read the ATF and people like that regularly, regularly have people coming into gun stores just posing as the standard customer. And so here goes dude over here running his mouth. Yeah, we got this group together, you know, f uh, federal government comes after us, you know, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Okay, well, let's, let's, just, let's just say it, you're not gonna be able to do anything. It's gonna be a situation just like this is what what happened. Now, I know people out there are gonna say that I'm, I'm, I'm do it for the government and I, I, I no, I'm not. I mean, we are to obey, obey the laws of the land. God's word tells us that. Now, up to the point that I can't is when it starts crossing over and going against God's word. I've got to draw the line there. But something like this, if you're having, and I know we're going along here, but I, I feel like this is important. Some of this, this is stuff that we get to talk about when I'm not actually doing a preaching or teaching video with God's word open, and I think time and place for all things and here, this is a time for discussing stuff like this and it kind of provokes thought and makes everyone thinks about stuff uh, look all they have to do if they suspect you something especially if you sit there and in a gun shop and run in your mouth how big and bad your group is and you've got this and got that and uh, you know just let them come and you know you know you know, pry the gun from our cold dead hands. You listen to me. <laughs> you're outgunned. You're outnumbered. It doesn't take anything. All they have to do is surround you and cut you off, and eventually you're going to run out of stuff. And they won't even let it get that far to begin with. If it's true what they're saying, they baited these people out to come to this meeting, and then they intercepted them. And I believe at one point. 
the guy said before he got out, the Spanicum gentleman, I believe one of the statements was said 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 that we're dead. Said they they pulled us out here. Said to kill us, to get us out of the way. And they, and they got him. Wounded, wounded someone else. So at any rate, look, they don't have to come and take your guns and your ammunition from you. All they have to do is come and take you and separate you from all that and put you somewhere else. Look, I'm just being real about this. And I, like I said, believe me, trust me, I don't have any love for the government, the federal government, at, at all. Because of what they've done to people, law-abiding citizens like you and I, and how they're trying to clamp down on us. But they swear, though, no, we're not, we're not trying to, we're not trying to keep, uh, yeah, they are, that's the whole goal of the elite, and it just comes downhill, and people just follow it, rank and file. So at any rate, something like that, you know, especially, look, people, especially if you got, if you got family and children, the thing to do is not put yourself in a situation like this. You know, you got your arms, you can protect yourself for self-defense, somebody breaks in your house. Uh, would I stand against uh, terrorists, and jihadists, and these other, uh, absolutely. I think that's one of the, that's one that that's actually if you want to function as a, a, a militia right now in terms of that, that's what we should be aiming at. Look, we can't change the federal government, and if you go against it, we've seen what happens. Let's get biblical. The Lord Jesus didn't try to change the government, the Roman government. He worked with people one on one, one at a time. But also, he sent his message out to, at one point, you know, to many people listen to him. But a lot of the times we get the, the passage in the Bible, he's working with a person one on one. Now, sometimes we do this right here, and we have people that watch it, and it goes out to many people. Other times we're preaching to a small congregation of people. Other times we're witnessing to just one person to one person to change their life and accept the Lord Jesus. Which is the right thing to do. It's what we're supposed to do. It's what he called us to do after we're saved. But at any rate, I know I went a long time on this, but that's been on my mind. I know I've mentioned a little bit about it from time to time. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, like me or don't, but if you do something like this, like this, like this group did, you're fighting a losing battle. There is there you you will not win. There's too many things. There's too you got too many forces against you to be able to, you know. Now I agree, federal government in this situation apparently is overstepping their bounds and overstepping their power on this. You know, so what? A little bit of federal land got burnt by accident by these ranchers, and they've been in a battle for years over land and the borders and stuff like that you know but you know the government uses an imminent, imminent domain to take over stuff now i don't agree with that really at all so at any rate you know I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and kind of put my position or speak my position on it uh you know i'm a you know hey i'm all for patriotism and for what we call the, I'm gonna say the old American way because now it seems like it's totally different now. It is totally different now. Uh, you know uh, the uh, the rights that we were given, the godly rights that we were given. Uh, you know, and and to stand against tyranny, absolutely. Uh, but anyway, that's how long. Let's. Uh, we can talk, sit and talk about that and debate that, and uh, you know, I just. Uh, uh, it's just a, it's an all around bad situation and it always is when something like this goes on uh, so just expect expect the uh, the federal government to be exonerated in this and with a big pat on the back they did your, they, their job and the militia group is going to, are going to be the bad guys that's the way it's always going to be that ain't, that ain't ever going to change just it's, it's true uh 
the new shackle of serfdom. Uh, clinging to health care insurance. One of the more remarkable characteristics of American life is our passive acceptance of systems that are so obviously completely insane. Yes, I refer to our health care system. Won't go far into this, but I totally agree. Uh, but to, uh, today, in today's world, what do you do? If you don't, if you're not a billionaire, millionaire, billionaire, then you can't just go to the doctor and uh, just shell out thousands of dollars to pay for it. If you don't have insurance, you're not going to get into a lot of places, or you're going to go bankrupt over medical bills that are going to be stacked up on top of you if you don't have the insurance. It's one of those you either got to do it, or you, or just to hope you don't get sick and need to be in the hospital or something. Or go to the doctor. Now I agree. <laughs> Your system is messed up. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry is what kills me. You know, for a little bottle of pills, you know, five hundred, six hundred, a thousand dollars. You know, but the insurance makes it where it comes down and it's affordable. Man, uh, that happened. I admit that happened to me. I recently went to go get a prescription. And something sort of happened in the insurance area, and the pharmacist had to call, and he got it straightened out. And, you know, everything was just fine. But they note and put a notation down on the medication, and it was uh, like uh, eleven hundred and fifty dollars or something. And the, <laughs> the pharmacist kind of looked at me, and he, I looked at him, and I just kind of blinked, and I said, "Yeah, that's a little much." So he said, let me, I don't think this is right. Let me call and see what's, like I said, everything worked out just fine. And, you know, but see, you know, my goodness, you talk about people that are just raking in. And you remember what I said at the very, talking about the very end, uh, or, or talking about the, in the book of Revelation, the word sorcery, when it talks about uh, that, uh, that word, I, I can't, I, I, say, I, I can't remember if that's the only place that that word is used, uh, I, I just can't remember offhand. But one point in the Book of Revelation, talking about people uh, that's been seduced and that that are uh, uh, slaves or whatever to sorcery, uh, the word in the Greek that they used for that, and they just used the word sorcery for English. But the Greek word for that at that part was pharmakia. It's where we get our word pharmaceuticals, pharmacy. So think about the drug use that's going on right now, and it's continuing to. And it, you know they're wanting to pass laws to, uh, you know, make marijuana legal. Uh, we got people that's you know got trailers that's cooking meth that you know, and almost bl blows himself up. Uh, you know, and even got children in the middle of that. Uh, I think you should get an extra knock on the head for keeping your kids around if you're doing something stupid like that. Uh, at any rate, uh, anyway, the pharmaceutical industry industry is is making killings, killings. The doctors and you know just uh, it's uh, we're just the little people. <laughs> That's what what can you say? We're just little people. We're the bottom line. We're always going to be at the disadvantage. But you know what? I tell you what. I don't have to. I don't have to be a slave to the world or the world system. But that the prince of this world, because my mind's not blinded. You know why? Because I'm saved. I've got the Lord in my heart. I know where I'm going when I die. When I leave this existence, I know that I'm going to see my Lord and my Savior. And I'm going to hear those words, enter in, thou true and faithful servant. Now, how can you be sure of that? you got to be sure of your salvation. You got heard the old saying, you got to know that you know that you know that you know. Remember me talking about taking inventory every morning when you get up, making sure, examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. Be sure that you got in your mind you're going to die to the flesh that day. And make sure that you've got your, your spiritual armor on that I've always said that you never take off at all, at any time. You're always on guard. You've always got your shield up and your sword ready to strike. So, at any rate, get off of that that's another deep pit that you can jump into uh, a little bit of uh, economic China's economic news China's 3 trillion yuan margin call time bomb is about to explode 
more economic woes. Uh, 129, 2016, yesterday, large Northwest Pacific earthquake. Uh, magnitude 7.2 strikes Kamchatka, Russia. Yeah, magnitude 7.2 strikes Kamchatka, I think that's how you pronounce it, Russia. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. You know. uh, let's move on down here. We're, 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 I'm way past time here. Here I go again. I got, got an hour. Uh, hit this right here, and uh, I think this will be uh, this will be all that we'll talk about. American Ultra. Uh, apparently, this is a movie. Uh, I'm, I'm not seeing it previews for it. But I did see a preview the other night about the movie I told you about about the satanic ritual abuse. Hollywood's just following ring and file, and they're just putting these movies out to, to, for a reason. American Ultra. This is another attempt at making MK Ultra cool. Which anyone knows does know what MK Ultra was? That was a real life CIA uh, mind controlled slave type project that they did. Uh, this here it says uh, the movie is based on real life CIA project MK Ultra, which aims to create mind controlled slaves. It says it is yet another attempt at making mind control cool by the mass media. See, well, I see for I see a little bit further than that. These guys probably do too. Others that it's Hollywood just putting stuff out that way. When something happens, you say, well, it may be this. Say this person gets activated by some means and goes on a killing spree. Which we've had, which we've seen happen in the last two or three years. I guarantee that they were, uh, that, that they 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 were they were sleepers that got uh, the, you know, the finger snap, got away again, and they go on these killing sprees. Uh, but at any rate, that's what uh, I believe Hollywood does. That they put stuff out that way. When you say, "Oh, this happened," well, it's probably this, and then they're going to say. You mean you're talking about uh, uh, in that MK Ultra or something like that? Well, that that was uh, that was a movie that was out recently, so that's not real. That's just something Hollywood just come up with. You don't know what you're talking about? See, that's why Hollywood does this. When something's going on, ultimately they will bring out some kind of movie to make people think that it's just a Hollywood thing. That's what I see. That's what I believe they do. Am I saying that? is what they're trying to do well it certainly seemed like it because I've heard people say that before oh that's just a movie that's just that's just make believe that's just you know somebody's you know just did that well you know you kind of there again you got your own mind you got your own way to do research you know do it and see uh, do a search on MK Ultra and see what we got that uh, you know there's uh, believe it or not there's some things that the government actually will say oh yeah we did we did that I think that is something that is very, very old, many, many, many years old, and that, along with other things, uh, that they're light, at this point light years ahead of anything that we know that they do and that they've got and that they're doing right now. People, we're living in the last days. Are you saved? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior? You know, we are. We're running out of time. We need to get grab as many people as we can and pull them back from the fire and witness to them. Tell them that they have a Savior that loves them. And they don't have to worry about this world system. That they can even die in this world, but they don't have to worry about because they're going to have an eternity of peace and love and joy with the Lord. Now, I look forward to it, don't you? Are you saved? If you're saved, then you should be looking forward to it. You should be watching. What's it? Watch and pray. He's coming for those that are watching. He's coming for a church without spot, without blemish, and the people that's watching for him to come. So at any rate, I'm going to end the new uh, we're hour and five minutes. <laughs> uh, well, at least the last two I did pretty quick. So, But there was stuff I wanted to talk about, and this is a time that we can do this. We can talk about this, talk about the news. I know you guys can't, you all can feed back in other means, but everything like that. But, uh, uh, at any rate, so we'll uh, we'll hop off here for now. Uh, that's uh, that, that's that's the news from Lake Wobegon. Has you know, 
Uh, make sure here. I don't want. I don't want to miss anything. But yeah, that's. If anything major comes back up again, then uh, you know, really, I believe. But I always say, you know, something that I need to uh, really bring to the front and talk about, then I will. It may be a, just a quick video. I hope it will be no hour long video. At any rate, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Still nice and pretty out, blue skies and sunshine. I hope it's that way where you are as well. Uh, and uh, at any rate, uh, God bless. Blessings in Christ on each and every one of you out there. And uh, we will see you in the next video. See you.